This is Jack Jackson. We're going to look a little bit today at StatCrunch and doing some uh, simulations with StatCrunch. So again, in our My Stat Lab site for our class, we can click on the StatCrunch link here, which takes us to here. I'm just going to go to the website here. And notice here you can pull up different kinds of, of uh, data sets. Okay, or we can go from here and select data from our computer. Actually, I can just type in data here. For what I want to do right now, actually, I'm going to use the, one of these applets. So I'm going to go straight to here. So one of the things I want to show you right now is experiment. And so, for example, we have the experiment of flipping a coin. And you can flip a coin there and see what happens. And we can continue to flip several times. We can reset it. Okay, so say we flip eight times. We can also click on Analyze. And notice it came over here in our data with um, coin flips. And we have it here. We can we can do some plotting with this. For example, we can go to we want we want to go here to statistics. For example, we can do um, let's see here. This out of the way. Close that. Go to graph, for example, and then do a. Uh, uh, a bar a bar plot and you can see uh, how many we had of each four of each we can do things like um, uh, well we could do some other other things with that okay so let's take a oops we can also go to uh, the same thing here we we'll flip a coin and we can go to some different options here. Okay, sorry, experiment. We can, okay, so we can also go down here to simulation and go to coin flipping. And now here we can, we can weight our coin where it has a probability of a heads could be different than just a half, but let's say it's a half. But let's say we want to flip, say, uh, five coins at a time, and we want to count uh, the number, number of heads, okay? And... Uh, compute something like this and so there's one where we're, we're flipping uh, wait a minute go to options number of coins is five five coins okay so okay there's our five coins Okay, and we can see uh, what we have there, that, that two of them were heads. Okay, and we can do it again. And this time we got two tails, two heads and a tail, so two again. We can run this for several times. For example, we could run this a thousand times, so now we'll have a thousand and two uh, things in our sample. And this shows us the number of heads in that 1,000 two uh, samples. 972 of them have at least one head. Okay, and you can see, uh, see a look at that. If we want to, we could reset it, or we could also click on Analyze, and let's see what happens there. We can see the number of heads here, each uh, each time, and you know this is going to go down to over what a thousand or two, I guess. So we can look at we can generate some coin flips, and we can weight our coin as well. 
Another type of experiment we can look at is rolling a die. So we can use this to simulate rolling a die. And again, analyze, we'll put that data into a column. We can also simulate uh, some dice rolling down here. We can specify the number of sides on the die and how many to roll. So let's say we roll two dice at the time and we want to look at the sum. Now let's just say we want to count when the sum is at least seven, for example. Um, we can add some titles. And we can run this, say, five times. And this is what we get for our sum. Three of them had a sum of at least seven out of the five. Or we can run it a lot. We can run it a thousand times. So this has a way of randomly generating these. And this is what we get there. So some interesting things there. What else can we do for, for simulations? Well, we can draw a card from a deck of cards like this. Okay, for an experiment, but we can also go down here to simulation and say we're drawing uh, five cards and just randomly dealing out five cards. What do we? What kind of poker hand could we get? So let's do a thousand hands. Of course, this is not with turning in cards and redrawing. This is just straight out drawing. And if you look, um, we had basically nothing, high card only. That happened 834 times out of the 1,000. If we look at one pair, that happened 96 times. Two pair, 49 times. Three of a kind, 18 times. Uh, straight, twice. Once or for a flush. No full houses this time out of this 1,000. No four of a kind. Uh, no straight flushes. No royal flushes. Okay, we could draw another thousand and maybe another thousand let's do five thousand three four so this is drawing five thousand times and we still didn't get a roll flush just straight out dealt to us no straight flushes no four of a kinds, a couple of full houses, four flushes, 19 straights, and so forth. And you can see the frequency histi histogram down here. Okay, let's look at a couple other things. We can, uh, we can look at birthdays and spinners. Let's look at some simulation and urn drawing, urn sampling. So, for example, uh, if we did a birthday problem, suppose we have uh, 30 students, and we can find, so if we draw one class of 30 students, we can see 30 birthdays there, and so forth. We can see how many of them have birthdays in common. So again, this is a, a simulation. We can look at urns, drawing balls from urns. So suppose we got an urn with uh, eight red ones and four green ones, and we want to draw uh, two balls out at a time. We can either replace it for the draw or not replace it for the second one we draw out. And we want to see how many times we'll get, get at least... Uh, let's say we draw three balls out, and we want to see how many of the time we'll get at least two of them that are the first color red. Okay, and we can use this. So here's here's one draw, and we have two red balls and one green one there. You can see. Okay, and we could run this again. So look, we could run it like say a thousand times here, and look at the simulation, and we see that we have. Uh, you can see what happens for the different frequencies. So either 0, 1, 2, or 3 red balls, and you can see uh, what, what frequency that happened. And if you put 2 and 3 together here, that happened a total of 778 times, or about, 70, about 78%. So there's an example of drawing out of an urn. We can, we can uh, 
experiment with that a little bit. Uh, we also have a spinner here, and this is interesting. You can you can actually let's see. I have some things for let's see. We can. This is basically the the pie chart for this number of heads. And then we can say, okay, drawing from this specific data, we can spin and see what happened. And then spin and see what happened here. And it's drawing from that particular, randomly from that data set. So that data set basically sets up the spinner, or I could set up a, basically a frequency table and set up my own spinner from that. And so anyway, this gives you some ideas of some ways you can use this to do some, some uh, experiments, some simulations to help you with uh, you know, just, just experimental data.